Hi, this is a quick video about our new blog, Tips for Returning to the Office. So it can be quite nerve-wracking as people are moving from their home working setup into the real world and face-to-face -face live connections. And here are some tips for you to make that transition a little bit easier. So, firstly, connecting to old and new colleagues. One of the key things you can do here is really give it some time. So give those old relationships, those new relationships some time, buy the water cooler, take a stroll around the block with a new colleague. And in that process, engage in some active listening and some open questions. So in terms of active listening, that is really deeply listening. Uh, you can listen with a little smile, make eye contact, nod, watch the person who's speaking and engage with them. You can even use little fillers that show you're paying attention. Filler sounds like, mmm, ah, great. Now, that makes such a difference because if someone feels like your attention is on them, they're going to open up and feel important and valued and like they belong. So it's a real gift you can give your colleagues. Open questions are questions that don't demand a yes and no answer. So how are you feeling about this? What do you like about that? What's going on here? Rather than do you like X or do you feel positive about Y? So those are your tips for connecting with colleagues. Next off, presentations. So everybody's really got used to delivering a presentation virtually in their little square. How do we move back to the office to deliver it in the office environment? Well, firstly, a tip that we love at London Speech Workshop is to really own your space. So make sure that you're giving your body permission to kind of engage, open up, take up a bit more space. You can see how I've unfurled my body here. Just energetically, it feels different. Root your feet to the floor so that you feel that the floor is really stabilizing you and imagine you've got backing singers. So literally, people who have your back, that builds an awareness of what's behind you and makes you feel not like you're just delivering in one direction, but you're supported here. So those are some tips for just bringing your energy up and out into that face-to-face -face presentation setting. Finally, listen to yourself. So two things here, if you feel like you don't really want to do socializing, then don't socialize, go easy. Take it baby steps. It's always good to push a little bit out of your comfort zone, but if you feel like, okay, I just need to go slowly, then give yourself the respect to acknowledge that's where you're at and that's what you need. Secondly, notice if you've got any negative judgment going on in your head or negative ideas about a thing. I can't do this, that's painful, I'm terrible at that. And just see if you can change your, your internal language a little bit. So it can be, I'm not sure about this, but I'm gonna give it a try. Or I, that's not my favorite thing, but maybe I'll find something I like. Just see if you can make some shifts. If you're noticing your internal language has a negative slant, see if you can reframe it because that sets the tone in your body, in your mind, in your intention, in your interactions with your work and with people, which can really, really help to make those adjustments positive ones. I hope that helps. As always, we love your comments, so please do share with us what, how this has helped you and um, look forward to speaking with you next time.